Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of Cask and Bottle Co. Manic Moore 10 year old. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my first impressions of Cask and Bottle Co. Manic Moore 10 year old. The guys at the newly formed independent bottler Cask and Bottle Co. have sent me a sample of their new single cask Manic Moore 10 year old. It's a single cask from the Speyside Manic Moore distillery. It's 10 years old. It's 46.7% ABV and it's one of 391 bottles. This particular whiskey is aged in a hogshead and retails for £85. I do have a discount code for you, so watch until the end for more details. Should we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the colour. I'd say that's like a pale straw. I do believe that it is natural colour and non-chill filtered. Let's start with the nose. Right, so my first impressions with this are lovely and sweet. I'm getting sort of orchard fruits, slightly floral. It's very sweet, I'm getting like icing sugar. There's a little bit of green apple skin in there as well. I'd say there's a um, hint of dry wood. And there's also um, a hint of nuttiness, maybe like hazelnuts or walnuts. Probably also getting a hint of pears, not just apples. But yeah, it's lovely and sweet. Not too hot on the nose either. Let's move on to the palate. So it's a little hotter than I was probably expecting on the palate for 46.7%. It's, um, yeah, it's got a bit of a tingle. Um, the first thing I get with this is the sort of orchard fruits. They are slightly synthetic, um, but that's not a bad thing. Reminds me of sort of a uh, hint of pear drops and a little bit of sort of apple boiled sweets. There's definitely a lovely sweetness with this. It really is. Um, like icing sugar there's um, probably also a little hint of like demerara sugar in there as well it's um, it's really nice the heat and pepper that I got straight away is definitely still there so I think it definitely is one of those sort of whiskies that lingers let's have another sip Yeah, there's a little bit of dry wood, a little bit of tannins. The um, fruitiness is what dominates. Um, that heat has died down a little bit, which is probably uh, a good thing. I think it's, you know, once you, well, once I got past that first sip, I think this is a perfect ABV to continue sipping at. It doesn't need water for me. In terms of the sort of Mouthfeel it is slightly uh, oily. There's a slight waxiness as well for me, which is quite pleasant. And um, yeah, it really is, really is quite nice. I think it's uh, probably a little one dimensional in terms of its flavors. Being a, a space side uh, aged in uh, an ex bourbon hogshead, I think it allows the sort of distillery character to come through but it's um yeah it is uh lovely and sweet nice and fruity let's have one final sip it's 
I'm getting a hint of marshmallow now in there. It's um, it's really quite nice. Um, that dry wood isn't too dominant. It's not too tannic. It's not too bitter. I think the sweetness with that orchard fruits is is really quite pleasant. It's a nice, uh, easy sip and dram. In terms of finish, I'd say it's medium long. Um, there's not too much heat. There is a little bit of dry wood. There's that sugary sweetness and there's those sort of apple skins that continue on the palate for some time. In terms of value, well, this is a 10 year old single cask bottled at 46.7%. It's 85 pound a bottle. Um, for me, that's probably a little bit on the steep side, but I don't have much to compare this with. But in terms of experience, I, I would say it's a, a little on the high side for me for a 10 year old, uh, not cast strength, single cast. The whiskey itself is very pleasant, but I just think that that price is probably a little bit high. Obviously, I do have a 10% discount code for you. I'll put a link and details in the description for you so you can check it out. And obviously, as an independent bottler, they will have some more whiskies coming through soon. So keep an eye out for those. I've not had a Manic Moor before, as far as I'm aware. Um, it's one of those uh, distilleries that I'm pretty sure don't have a core range. I might be wrong. If you know any more details and there is one, you know, a core range that I've missed, let me know in the comments as always. And if you try to manic more, does this, you know, my description, does that live up to your experience of that distillery? If so, also let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I think although I won't be running out to buy a bottle of this, because it is very similar to a lot of my SMWS, uh, Space sides that I've got. I am interested to see what this independent independent bottler will do going forwards because this is definitely a tasty whiskey. And it's definitely one that I'm going to enjoy sipping. So um, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for them. And um, if I do get any more bottles, or if you do, then uh, let me know in the comments. But I'll I'll feature them on the channel. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. See you again soon. Sauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, why not give it a like or a comment, and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.